In this video, we will find out the real problem and repair the laptop. We start to look at the picture which I took when I found that the computer was missing the CPU. Do you see anything abnormal in the picture here? Since the CPU was missing, I didn't look carefully to the motherboard. But if you look carefully, you will sure find something. Near to the CPU socket, you will find a chip with some physical damage. A hole on the top of the chip, that is obvious if you look carefully. Let me zoom in the chip. Okay. It is clear that this chip is damaged. The chip is called EMC 4001. Looking at the schematic, it tell us that the chip is responsible for fan and thermal control. I needed to order the chip, it took about a month to get the chip. I needed to buy Flux since I didn't have it at home. I replaced the chip and cleaned up the motherboard. I connected the power adapter and the keyboard as the power button is with the keyboard. I pushed the power button and it works. I entered the BIOS setup just to show you that it is working. The computer works, but unfortunately that was not the end of the story. I discovered a problem that I will cover in the next video. But the computer does start and does work. Replacing that chip fixed the startup issue. Next and last part will come later as I needed to order some parts. I hope it will fix the laptop totally. Wait for my last video.